So today I have for you another one of my favorite lipsticks video. As you may or may not know, I've already done a favorite red lipsticks and favorite purple lipsticks. So I will link those down below in case you haven't seen them already. But today I'm going to be talking about my favorite pink lipsticks. Hopefully when I move my ears, these jingle bells don't like really, really bug you on camera. I think they're really, really fun, but I will see how they are in this video and maybe not include them in all of my videos. But anyway, so today I'm going to be doing my favorite pink lipsticks and let's just start with the one on my lips right now. So this is, you might be able to tell, Candy Yum Yum from MAC. This is one of my absolute favorite colors in the entire world. It is just this beautiful, bright, vibrant, slightly blue-based pink. It's very, very neon. Um, it is a matte formula, so it lasts really, really well. I don't find that it feathers or anything. It can settle into the cracks. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it was doing it earlier, um, just on the inner part of my lower lip. Um, and it can get a little bit, not patchy, but like that's the closest word I can think of, but it doesn't sit on like dry skin very well. So that's what it looks like on the hand. I think it looks pretty much the same. It also kind of matches my diva shirt here. But yeah, it's a really beautiful color and like I've said in a million other videos, I love the MAC lipstick formulas. Matte is one of the best formulas that MAC has. So yeah, this is a great, really beautiful lipstick if you like a really intense pink like I do. Pink lips are basically one of my absolute favorite things. So I have a lot and I kind of have a specifically a lot of bright pink lipsticks. So most of these are going to be in that sort of family. I had actually a very hard time going through and picking just six to the point that I actually picked five. So there's that. Next I'm going to show you my Too Faced Melted Liquified Longwear Lipstick in Melted Fuchsia. Again, this is one of my minis. I don't have this one in full size, but I have a lot of lipsticks, so I'm not gonna buy it unless I run out of the mini. It is, however, a really beautiful color and definitely a favorite. It's a little bit more intense, a little deeper than Candy Yum Yum. It almost looks more pigmented than Candy Yum Yum, but cream Candy Yum Yum just looks like it has a bit more of a white base to it, whereas this one starts out kind of glossy before it mattifies down. But it is kind of a similar bright, neon pink color. It's really, really beautiful. And again, the melted liquid lipsticks are really, really gorgeous. And those ones smell like sugar, which is really, really nice. And I really like the formulas. Speaking of which, I have another one to show you. So my third favorite pink lipstick is going to be the Melted Jelly Donut shade. This is a slightly deeper shade, a little bit more muted i suppose a little bit more wearable for some people probably and a little bit warmer maybe a little bit deeper as well uh, so it's that one right there and yeah it's i feel like it's got a little bit more of a red tone to it and i think this is the bright pink that people who generally like neutrals would be more likely to gravitate towards because it is just a little bit more natural and wearable and not as neon as some of the others. Another favorite from mine, which is actually a drugstore favorite, is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Adi Ababa. It is a beautiful, very slightly berryish color and the formulation on this lipstick also is just absolutely beautiful. So there's that one there. Again, I don't think any of these colors are quite the same so that's good I think I picked a pretty good representation of some of my favorite pink lipsticks again this one does go matte eventually and once it is matte it is like undetectable on my lips I was wearing it yesterday actually and at one point I thought I'd forgotten to put lipstick on until I looked in the mirror and remembered I was wearing it this one you can't see it when it's on but when you take off this lipstick it does have like a shimmer to it Every time I take it off, there's always like little glitters left mixed in with the pink on like a cotton pad, but it I can't see it in the swatch. I can never see it on my lips, so I'm not sure why they would bother to put it in. But yeah, it's probably most similar to the Melted Fuchsia, so it's, it's um, you probably don't need both lipsticks. And if you're on a budget, these ones are really great. 
even if you're not they are one of my favorite formulas that I've ever used just because they are so comfortable they like the way they dry down on your lips isn't drying at all it's just as I said completely undetectable so I would recommend trying those out and then of course I have two more MAC lipsticks I kind of felt like I had to include a more neutral pink in this video because I do like having a neutral pink option. I was going between two and maybe I should have showed them both to you but I, I didn't dig out. Melted Peony is a really great color if you prefer that formula but I went with MAC Cream Cup just because it feels a bit more neutral on my skin tone in particular. This is a cream sheen lipstick so it's also quite sheer which means it'll probably work on a lot of skin tones but it's just sort of a soft baby pink, but not like a bright baby pink, if that makes sense. It goes with a lot of eye looks and it's really flattering and it's really comfortable because it is a cream sheen, but because it's a very light color, you don't have to worry about like feathering or smudging as much. I don't bother to wear a lip liner with this. It's just a really great sort of lazy day lipstick. It helps you look like more pulled together, but it's, not fussy but peony is great too if you are really into the melted lipsticks and then finally i have mac impassioned and this is more of a coral um so which makes it a little bit different again than the first four which were all very very similar in tone they're all a little bit blue based this one does have a touch of coral to it that's that one there it was my first ever mac lipstick actually so i actually have what is with my camera today? So I have a lot of nostalgia connected to this color just because it was a first for me. This one is an amplified formula, so the pigmentation is incredible and eventually I find that these do dry down a little bit, but they're never exactly matte. But yeah, it's just a bright pink again, but with a bit more of a coral, so it's really great as a summer color especially. So yeah, those are my favorite pink lipsticks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me your favorite pink lipsticks down below so I can go and check them out, especially if you have any drugstore lipsticks because I'm always really hesitant to go to the like drugstore lipsticks because they never seem to work quite as well for me. So let me know if there's some drugstore lipsticks that you think have a really good formula and also don't have like a gross smell. So like none of the Rimmel lipsticks. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see more videos from me, including my upcoming neutral lipsticks video. If you have anything else that you would like to see sort of a top five, top 10 type of video uh, about, then let me know down in the comments as well and I will try to work on that. So I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.